this. All right. Hey guys. Um, so today's video is kind of a hard one to make, um, but I felt like I really did want to make it. The lighting's not very good and it's getting dark, but I really did want to make this video because it kind of hits home for me a little bit. Um, as you know, if you watch my videos, that you know that I'm a cheerleader. I'm a college cheerleader. I cheered in high school. I've been cheering for seven, eight years now, so um, cheerleading has been a huge part of my life. And so I've dealt with bullying. I've dealt with name calling. I've dealt with all the things that go along with, you know, being a male cheerleader, uh, you know, today in America. So when I was on Facebook just kind of reading through my news feed and I saw the story of this 12 year old kid who killed himself because he had been bullied for just being a male cheerleader um, and I, it just it was it first of all it's ridiculous that kids are bullying a, a, a kid who seemed very happy and loved to cheer. I just thought how awful that this kid was just trying to do what he loved, an activity, a sport that he loved and was bullied for it and felt like there was no other choice and there was no way out except for suicide because he was bullied for simply being who he is. I thought it was awful. I think it is awful. I think people need to realize that words do hurt. You know, there's a saying, uh, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, that's not really true. Of course, that's what we try to live towards. That's, you know, that's a saying that my mom and my dad always tried to teach me is that, you know, sticks and stones will break your bones, but words, just don't let them hurt you. Well, sometimes they really do hurt because sometimes words are a lot harder hitting than any stone or bat or stick or whatever. I mean, sometimes, you know, somebody says something to you and it's like, man, I feel like I just got hit by a truck. Like, it hurts. It really does. I mean, this 12-year-old kid, Ronin Shimizu, the fact that he had to lose his life, the fact that he felt so trapped, so bullied, so much like an outcast, that he felt that he had no other way except for to take his own life is sickening, it's disheartening, and it's really, really sad. Lesbian, gay, or bisexual kids are four times as likely to commit suicide than their straight peers. And now, we don't know the sexual orientation of Ronan. He could have been straight, he could have been bisexual, he could have been gay, he could have been asexual. But being a male cheerleader, I know that the stereotype is that all male cheerleaders are gay, which is completely not true. I've been on two college squads and for the most part, only one or two guys out of, you know, 15 guys were gay. There were a lot of straight guys on the team. In high school, there was one or two at the most every year on the team that were gay. It's not a strictly gay sport. A lot of guys do get a lot of heat for being cheerleaders. I know I did a speech last year in one of my classes. 21,374 LGBT adolescents committed suicide in 2012. I know that was almost two years ago, but I also know that those numbers have not gone down. That's 21,374 daughters, sons, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews that killed themselves because they were bullied for being gay. I The fact that this 12 year old kid had left school, had changed schools, had enrolled in homeschooling to get away from the bullying and it still didn't stop. It is so, so awful. 
it's just really, really difficult to read about these situations and know that I've been where these people have been and I just feel so badly that, that they felt that alone and that deserted. Alright guys, well thank you for watching my video. Uh, some links down in the description below for some resources. Uh, if you are dealing with thoughts of suicide or if you have any friends who might be dealing with thoughts of suicide. Because you're not alone, there are people out there who want you to live and they want you to be successful. Alright, bye y'all.